the underground and like contrast and like inspire players. Okay, we get it. Show us something, please. Adventures and please show us. And one thing we have done. Anything that's just a scrap. Fill this pillar is that we have added new cave biomes, and one of them is the lush caves. Yeah, I mean, we Want. wanted to make sure that, of course, in, I in need Minecraft, that. I need that. Original I games, need you know, that. They're pretty much the same. There's not much variation Gimme. in terms of oh, shit. vegetation <laughs> or different features inside of it. So for this, we wanted something which is a bit more like light and lush and actually has vegetation. And I mean, I, I think that it so looks bloody. amazing. It's gorgeous. What was the inspiration behind it? So. We were thinking about, like, okay, so how should it feel when you are in a lush cave? And we wanted to be like, so you feel like very tiny inside, like a big garden or big forest. So, like when you look up, it's actually like vegetation above you. It's vegetation around you. And one source of inspiration. I like that. People have already been building those. Painter <laughs> called John Bauer. Because people have already been building that. It's always well, or whenever it's like a cave like build a that somebody makes. And then. It's like huge forest, and you see like Leaves, the bottom of the trees vines. because the vegetation. Is those like new so flowers, do you see them? The character, and you're adding so many new plants in the lush caves. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you saw, but there was this new tree that was actually above on the overworld, and this is called an azalea tree. So it's a Spore unique blossom. type of tree that you'll be, it'll be easy it to spot. It emits particles. Players. And if you <gasps> find this and start <gasps> going down its roots, you will find a lush cave there. So this is another part of adding strategy to mining, where that know, looks there are so landmarks cool, which will dude. allow you to understand what you're doing in the game. Cool. This is one biome! One of the new blocks is a block called Spore Blossom. And it's that you maybe saw it in the video. It's a big pink flower that you find in the roof of the lush cave. And it will drip particles from that flower, but it will also actually feel like a big volume around it with particles. So it's similar to the particles that we added to the nether biomes in the nether update. Um. But the cool thing here is that you can move the flower if you want to and get this particles anywhere you want in your world so you can actually be very creative with that fuck yes That's so awesome i wanted and that what did i say so chat have a real i was like these are cool i like these new the particle plants. effects yes. can i please so have them the, anywhere i want in the plant uh, in the lush case <laughs> and they have glow berries on them oh. and these are actually a light source you can also pick them and eat them if you want to Nice. Glow berries and another and plant a light source. is the drip leaf plant and you can actually see that they can kind of grow from like water or anywhere else and they grow quite tall but they have like a little plant on the top that you can actually hop onto so the idea of the mechanic behind it is that the leaf will actually tilt down when you stand on it too long so this will actually make you fall through however after a few seconds oh, it'll cool. come back up so it's kind of this like platforming block <laughs> that allows you to just you know continue platforming over and over again which i hope is really exciting for you know content creators making maps yeah yeah you can build like your own platforming levels and then they will repair themselves that's kind of yeah. neat oh my god it's so beautiful in there. And there's there's actually a mob coming to the lush caves. Yes, <laughs> there is. But we will actually not tell you about this mob now. Oh, come on, at the dude. At end of the show, we will show even more features coming to the Caves and Cliffs update. And then we're going to show that mob. Bruh. This is the first time we have <laughs> so much that we're actually splitting. Don't you be us, dude. Come on. Into two come on, At the dude. beginning and towards the end of the show. It's it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's exciting. You've also worked on improving the cave generation. Yes. Yeah, so as you can see here, I mean, this is drastically oh! different to what caves used to look like. And there's definitely still the old style of caves, but we wanted to make sure that there was much more variety in the sort of caves and the shapes and the sizes you could get. Oh, more caves. And even here, so you much. can see that there's some water underground. 
Oh! So we actually are <laughs> local water levels. So in one cave you can might find like a cave lake, and another cave might not have that one. And this also means that we get naturally generated waterfalls, which is so pretty. And it also kind of gives like new ways to traverse the underground. You can actually go cave rafting. That's yeah, so you'll see in a bit that uh, our player here will actually use a boat to raft. Mm -hmm. And that is just such an exciting opportunity to be able to traverse the oh cave my in God. a very different way than you used to. Yeah, we, we actually we were playtesting and then... Yo! Like, this is so fun and all of us just started to go with yeah! the on the waterfall. It, it was a lot of fun. I'm losing so another it. One thing to note here is that you could see that a lot of the oars were actually glowing. Uh, this is just for preview purposes. Oars aren't going to glow now. Uh, it's just that the caves tend to be quite dark, and oh. we want to make sure that players can see the shapes of the cave. Now, oh. will that only be for the like normal caves, or will this run across all of the new cave biomes? <laughs> so the really cool thing is that like the new cave shapes and sizes is completely independent from the new biomes. So that means that we have so much variation. Because, for example, an, a lush cave can, for example, generate you know in a super narrow tunnel, uh, but it can also generate in like a huge cavern, and that creates completely different atmospheres, but it's still the oh, same. Oh, don't bio. show us it. Don't. So we, yeah, we're really going to have oh. lots of variation on the ground now. Okay, oh, yeah, I was going to lose my shit. The, I was going to lose my shit if I saw a lush cave the size of that. Oh my god. <laughs> cheese, like that. That's how varied the caves yes. could be. Yes, I mean there are so many different variables with how the variation. We are works, like what? And, I mean, five minutes in. More well, than 50, the 15 itself. minutes in, it's chat. Just crazy. It's a lot. Yeah, some of the caves, for example, have really cool pillars, and some are more like flat. Some are tall. Lots of variation. Very nice. And you have another another new cave biome to show us. Yes. So we have the dripstone caves biome. And whenever I think about the idea of a cave update, the, the image of stalagmites and stalactites comes into my head. Um, but adding these are pretty This is what difficult. I build. You know, this is, this is literally what I try to build really to. But I think the way that all the, the time. I love this shit. Minecraft works quite well. And of course, there's some ma mechanics surrounding this. So you can okay. see that uh, someone destroyed the block up the top. And so the dripstone fell Oh, it's going to hurt them, isn't it? It's gonna, it oh my god. For the zombie One hit. Fall on these stones, you will get hurt. Poor <laughs> zombie. There's another interesting mechanic in the dripstone caves. Yes. So maybe you saw in the video that like from the stalactite. Was that just for, that was, like, just for water. display purposes like, or was that actually... Under a stalactite, it will fill up with water. Real it's damage. Renewable, <laughs> renewable water. And, and how, how do you remember which is stalactites and stalagmites? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. It has been very tricky to remember that. But I think I, think I learned. So... We actually, yeah, it's hold on tight to stalactite. <laughs> you might step one. on stalagmites. Yeah, so stalactite is in the roof and stalagmite is on the floor. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've been practicing. Hold on tight to stalactites. <laughs> All of us. For, yeah. for a long time. Stalagmites you might step on. something <laughs> really amazing in this update for the sort of redstone engineers out there. Well. Yes, so we've actually been thinking about this redstone block that lives what? in the deep dark, a new biome at the deepest depths of the world. We're not going to talk about this biome too much today, uh, but we are going to show some of the blocks and maybe later a mob that comes from it. Uh, so maybe. if we look at the video, we can actually see that there it's basically end, this end, growth. End stone, and this is called end stone the shit. Skulk end Blocks. Realm. And oh. one of the blocks is called the Skulk Sensor. This is the new redstone block. As you can see, when you place or destroy a block, or if oh my you God. have footsteps, it'll actually detect the vibrations around and then emit a redstone signal. Oh so this my is God! Be very interesting for redstone players. That's fucking uh, we huge. We have a mechanic around it where you can actually use wool with wool occlusion to essentially prevent signals from being able to uh, get into the Skulk Sensor. So let's take a look at that now. And as you can see here, I walked next to the Skulk sensor, and it's actually kind of doing an infinite loop where the piston is causing a vibration, and then it's uh, activating the Skulk sensor and going over and over again. But here, I've actually put a wall block in it's between the piston, dude. It's which prevents the signal from going to the Skulk sensor. Oh! 
Oh, they decided this wireless redstone. Do oh my god, you fucking lunatics. Where you can put wool blocks on each side <laughs> and only allow it to detect vibrations in front of it. And vibrations can be so many different oh. things. You know, it can be a snowball a hit, it could be an arrow, it could be footsteps. They did it. it could be blocks, they actually did anything. it. So cool. Yeah. And another thing we actually. Well, we had a bit of a happy accident with this because we realized that we get wireless redstone thanks to the Skulk sensor. Yes. Oh so, my god! Uh, but then when we started playtesting, we're like, wait, we got wireless redstone, and that's so exciting. And well, you can just build so many cool things with that. It's gonna be exciting to see what the community oh my will do. Yeah, you're really looking Dude. for community feedback. To Every make sure redstone buffin like, just collectively had their minds Absolutely. blown. I think because this is such a unique mechanic, we really want to make sure that we get this it right. And you know, we love the redstone community. Insanely and we sure game changing for right. redstone. So any feedback you have, any ideas, send it to us, and we will work <laughs> with you to make this the best block that it can be. <laughs> and now we we said there's another mob coming later. But I think it's time for a new mob coming to the Caves and Cliffs update. Bruh. It is. And this is a very scary mob. And it lives in the, like, the deepest of the underground. I love this shit. Dark. I love how and they're adding stuff to like the deep place. areas. And the cool thing is that this mob is very well adapted to the environment. So it actually it can't see anything. So it's the first blind mob in Minecraft. And that's very interesting because it gives such interesting mechanics. So instead, it will react to vibrations, just like the Skulk sensor block. So, Moles? if you aren't like, very people? careful when you walk around in the deep dark, you might upset that mob. Yeah, with this mob, we really wanted to make sure that we kind of recaptured that feeling of the first night of Minecraft. And like, we can often forget that Minecraft can be a pretty scary game. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we could kind of go back to that. I mean, caves can be scary. They're dark. And uh, all I'm going to say is that when you go into the deep dark, I added make 5G sure to Minecraft. Very yes, quiet will. <laughs> and watch closely for the warden. The warden. They've boosted the light levels on this video. Look how, look at the, look at the hearts and everything. The fuck are those candles? What's, bruh? Oh my god, they put a heartbeat. Oh my god, it's legitly hor it's it's a horror. It's a fucking horror game. They they, they added a boss. What the fuck is that? Oh, he's in tune with the he's in tune with the five G. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's how he's finding out where you are. What the fuck? How much damage? How much damage? Okay, he's he's probably got netherite armor. Just just hit him once. What is that animation? That's sick. Oh, he's speedy. Oh, he's speedy. Just get hit once. Get hit once. I need to see. I need to know. I need to know if he's like busted. Oh my god. What did we just see? <laughs> it's a very different mob. Uh, I'm really excited for this because uh, not only is it trying to be scary, nope. it's, you know, it, we nope. have to keep a balance to it. It was very nope. challenging to design a mob like That this. was at least full um, diamond. Another thing that's really important to note is in that video, Probably I was wearing full netherite armor. Okay. So oh my powerful. god. Oh, definitely fuck. Want to <laughs> fuck yeah. that. Fuck because that. Nope. Such an nope. Gameplay. No, 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 if, no, no. If, if you want to, you can avoid it, but then you need to really be careful, like sneak all the time to not make like any kind of movement that it will detect. But that's a lot of fun and it's like, feel scary, but in the good way. And you wanted to kind of take everyone back horrifying. to their, that first night experience with the warden. 
absolutely. I mean, I had such an amazing experience when I first played Minecraft. Like, it was terrifying listening to zombies underneath my house and in the caves. And hopefully we can bring that back to players, but, mm. you know, 10 years later. Yeah. But that will be just amazing because you he hear so many lovely first night stories. It's such a big thing. And I mean, I was I'm popping him my from miles away, dude. Minecraft, so we hope to. I'm aerial artillery. I'm, I'm aerial really artillery. This, this fucker. Sort of the look of I am it's not. Like, it's, it's almost cute. Going in with the sword on that boy. Really, really terrifying. How did you decide? Holy shit. We actually worked a lot on like, so like, how does scariness look in Minecraft? Because we wanted to be very scary. <laughs> so cool. And we didn't want to take away <laughs> Look at the little derpy face. But oh. we thought, <laughs> let's add some derpiness to it. So it's like a mix. So for example, we added the mouth. I love the mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> and, some actually that was adorable. Like, oh, it's so cute. It's like, which mm, I think it's more scary, oh. but I think we find like the remove warden boy. Yeah, absolutely, really has character. Yes, definitely. Well, you've been sitting up here. That was you pretty just fucking cool. An update that everyone has been waiting for, and we actually have some Bruh. tweets that have come in. <gasps> oh, awesome. I could have got free okay, clout. That's amazing to see. Nah, they so wouldn't. Have, they wouldn't be looking. Oh, even more tweets. <laughs> So, the, the, it's lovely. It's like we, we really developed this game together with the community, and now to see that people are so happy, that feels so good. I kind of love. Yeah, honestly, this is it's how such a privilege to work on a game like this and an It uses like the little this, blocks. Uh, we just love like this game, and we want to make the yeah. best Wi Fi kind of to everyone. like hear where yeah. you are. Thank you so like much, senses. Agnes and Brandon. That was a lot of amazing new things. Oh, Don't forget that we have hell, another dude. segment full of even more cave updates later on in the show. <laughs> now let's head over to mine, our Minecraft Live correspondent, Boo Booey. So I can see Will screaming on his on his rocking chair. You all voted into the game <laughs> Minecraft last year. should be old Minecraft. <laughs> G, not in my house. Hello, Minecrafters <laughs> of the world. I'm Boo Booey, and I'm here once again. Good old dialogue. That's what I use. To choose a mob that will go <laughs> into Minecraft. But first, we have a message from our good friend Max Brooks. Oh my God, dude, that looks Minecraft fucking sick. With some exciting news. I've been waiting for them to actually hey, do Minecraft like something community. insane with caves, but I've always Brooks, kind of like just left it. Minecraft I was like, they won't the do island. it. Thank when they did so the biomes. For embracing my book. And I hope you enjoy the sequel, Minecraft. When they the changed the way the biomes where our character leaves were put the in island and paddles to and how they generated, I was like, right, okay, it's coming. It's happening. Another castaway. It's happening, and dude. And together, the two of them have to find oh. their way home. Minecraft The Mountain, coming out in 2021, available for pre-order right now. And as always, Hashtag thank you for embracing all Minecraft books. I'm not, not me. That sounds Him. awesome. <laughs> Another Minecraft novel. And this one's called The Mountain. <laughs> Speaking of mountains, remember last year's vote? It was a fierce competition, but the mountains won after two intense rounds of voting. Well, I have a sneak peek into what your vote is bringing to Minecraft on the cliff side of the Caves and Cliffs update. Oh! Ghosts. They're both oh, mischievous so what? and what adorable the fuck? at the same time. <laughs> As you can see, what is that they height? live on the mountains. And if you aren't careful, they might okay. knock you off. They also have excellent jumping skills. <laughs> we'll also get better Jumps out of frame with spectacular and more dramatic <laughs> mountains with height-dependent generation. Oh that my god. Like <laughs> so cute. Whoa. That will be more challenging with lots of snow and ice. Okay. And speaking of snow, yes, it will be snowier. We will also have a new block called powder snow, Ooh. which will be a kind of trap block. It looks similar to snow, but if you or a mob walk on it, mm. you'll fall right through. Oh. Now let's talk about this year's vote. Oh, great. Three awesome mobs Fantastic. to choose from. And to introduce them, we once again have Tiny Agnes and Tiny Jens. Let's see what they have to show. <laughs> Piss cow. Bees and Moo Blooms are friends, just like we are. Tell Dying us something fungus. new, please, please. These friendly cows live in the flower forest biome. It's just the same as the Twitter video we've seen this. Covered in beautiful we've seen flowers. this. What's not to like about these beautiful bovines? 
We are friends, right, Agnes? <laughs> Why do we have to record these videos on an actual mountain? They are animated. The Isolager is a new illager that lives on mountain tops. Chilliger. It's a hostile mob that attacks you with clouds of flying ice. You did pack <laughs> the supplies we need to survive the night up here. Right, Jens? Oh, here, here come that boy! Here come that boy! I always Blowy wish boy. the world peace. Sure you do. Well, Show him to me. More. me to oh, he's beautiful. Wow. wow. What was I meant to say <laughs> again? Both. For Minecraft. This one. Can't talk. Must. I'm very Meyer. selfish. I want him in my end round build. Yens. I want him in, in the water. It's really distracting. I'm so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> they're so tiny and they're so susceptible to distraction. Hopefully that won't happen to you. <laughs> now let's go over how. Hello? Oh, hi, Tiny Agnes. Yeah, no, I, I'm live right now. Okay. okay. Well, you really shouldn't read too many internet comments. But, okay. Glow I'll squid in underwater okay. cave Bye. sounds good now, says Ian. Tiny Agnes would like everyone to know that she and Tiny Yens are, in fact, good friends. Okay. Where was I? And why do people He's getting canceled? phones around the studio? <laughs> Now, let's go over how you can be a part of what is likely to be an epic showdown. Don't let this decision... We're trying to get uncancelled off Twitter, I guess. ...be ready to cast your votes. First, oh. make sure you have a Twitter account. If you don't, go to Twitter.com, sign up for an account, and make sure you're logged in. I'll let you know when the voting starts. Then you'll I'm need ready. to go to the Minecraft Twitter account to find the latest... I'm so ready. Think carefully, debate with your friends and family, make a decision, then click on the mob you want to make it into Minecraft. There will be two voting sessions, and I'll let you know when each one begins. For now, just be ready and keep dreaming of victory for your favorite mob. My name is I just tweeted chat. I just tweeted. And I'm the gameplay <laughs> producer from Minecraft Earth. I am so excited to be a part of Minecraft Live this year mm -hmm. and to share this wonderful experience with you, <clears> our <throat> amazing community. It's been so fun seeing what you've been doing with the game. I've seen lots of creation shared each week, and I wish I were that creative. I mean, wow. While everyone has been discovering new hobbies, I have been longing that, Will? each day reading to a teleprompter, reading crystal, a tele which lets me play live mean, adventures in augmented reality in various parts of my home. Will, this is my live. Dogs are very you think they're going to memorize this shit? It seems like I'm not the only one who's been going on lots of adventures. We've had more than 5 million adventures played throughout early access. Holy Moobloom, that is amazing. <laughs> I've also been completing season Holy piss and cow. challenges <laughs> to collect mobs, even more adventure crystals, and exclusive character creator items that can also be used in bedrock. Sometimes, when the weather is just <laughs> right in my house, lightning strikes and a new mob is made. Later this month, we have two new mobs joining Minecraft <laughs> Earth, and I hear they're going to make quite a Ugh. splash. Speaking of mobs, our beloved Moobloom from <clears throat> Minecraft Earth has a chance to be brought into vanilla. How cool is that? That's cute, but glowy boy. Now, I'm not going to tell you who you should vote for, but what I am saying is... One of these mobs is definitely way more adorable than the rest. So choose wisely. Nice. That's, that's right. Glowy Boy is better. In our last couple <laughs> releases, you may have noticed that we added Slime Ball and Slime Blocks. With that, I'm super excited to let you know that we are adding Pistons and Sticky Pistons to Minecraft Earth. Be on the lookout next week for I've a not really played update, much of Minecraft Earth. I can't Earth. wait to see the awesome creations you make with blocks, items, and now red soul contraptions. Our friends I'll be real. I got confused. Recently took a Minecraft Earth road trip. I was like, what, what, what am I doing? Creations. Let's get a sneak peek at what Close. they discovered. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name's Mumbo. This is my friend Green, and this is my 1974 VW bus. There's no. Air it's the Golden the Boys. Things. There's no radio. Um, what are no they doing in a van? Steering. No I've owned it for about four years, and to be frankly honest. It's, it's pants. Times were definitely different in the 1970s, so it's ridiculously <laughs> slow, and it's definitely lacking some of the modern comforts you would usually expect to find in a car these days. 
Why is he putting we on a helmet? Embarking on a grand oh god. Of England, going from the south coast up to Wales, and it's going he is to in a take car. three oh god. whole days. I'll be honest, Graham, mate. Would you cast that as a grand tour? Well, yes. We have no radio, so it's going to feel a lot longer. Helmet's off. But you see, this isn't a regular road trip in a rubbish old van. This is a <coughs> Minecraft Earth road trip in a rubbish old van. With Minecraft Earth being a game you can play on the move, we thought we would travel to a bunch of different Green locations so in the UK. Small. Some of them are iconic, some it's of them so just small. feel very Minecrafty, and some of them are barely linked <laughs> to Minecraft at all, but we just really wanted to go to them, so we did. <laughs> oh, he took it out <laughs> He's getting spat on. <laughs> we also had a go at integrating Minecraft Earth with real life. Oh Minecraft God. Earth Frisbee is a bit <laughs> of a challenge. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> Minecraft Earth Badminton can be quite dangerous to onlookers. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, John. And real life sand blocks are alarmingly difficult to construct. If I just film this angle. There we go. Let's yeah, it looks fine. Totally fine. Block. All in all, though, the road trip was a huge success and we had a lot of fun. New season of Bake Off. to see the full length episode. Kind of filmed like that, isn't it? channels very, very soon. Hashtag plug. Wow, it looks like Bumbo Jumbo and Grian had quite like the Minecraft Earth Adventures. Yeah, they went on a little road Studios, trip. We've also been making more original content than ever before on our Minecraft put a helmet on. Our goal is to create shows that give <laughs> legitimately worried for his, for his safety. <laughs> We're even giving away all of our secrets in a new series called How It makes me think Mumbo like backed up the van into a corner risky. and then just like hit a curb all funny. We have lots and Green was just like, ah, oh, shit. Here's a look at what shows you'll find. Looking for anything channel. nearby just to like provide safety. Yo to the yo yo. My name is Jens. I'm here. Wait, no! Stop! I actually kind of love these little videos that they do. How can Steve punch cactus without getting hurt? I know a cactus has prickly, but punching a tree probably hurts too. <laughs> Everyone just starts panicking. Dancing in the field. Mix, I saw Mixer. Please like and subscribe. I've always wanted to say that. But really, you should. It's good oh, stuff. I in saw a very, very familiar cave. You voted for the terror that is the I Panthers, saw that. And I personally have not forgiven you for that. Chat, I saw it. <laughs> the Tiger won your vote with fantastic foxes. Last year, it was the mountains with our soon-to-be mm. friends, the goats. <laughs> what will you, the Minecraft community, do this I'm fine. Year? Let's review our choices once more. Fine. I was inspired by some of the amazing handcrafted things I've seen made by our community over the years. So I decided to make my own versions of our three mob choices. <clears throat> Hi, babies. For illustrative purposes. I think I did a pretty great job. Took me three months each. Anyway, boy, boy. all the way from Minecraft Dungeons, we have the Isolager. They make clouds of ice that smash down on whomever they are attacking. Not quite as such a good boy. Look. He's but such Minecraft a good glowy Dungeons boy. Yes, he is. Adorable. Oh, is that good? Oh, I hear they make oh, yeah, good, the good. flower. The <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they'll be best pals with bees. Also from Minecraft Earth, the glow squid. As the tiny trio will surely attest, they sure are distracting to look at. The first voting poll is now live on the Minecraft Twitter account. Make sure you're logged in. This is not a drill. Right this is not a drill. And click the mob you want to win. Glowy we'll boy. check back in before we start the second and final poll. Now, though, I'd like to welcome Laura to my desk to talk about the dungeoniest Minecraft game ever, Minecraft Dungeons. Where Hello, is it? Laura. Hi. Thanks for having me. Where is it? Very excited that you're here. Nice. So what do you do at Mojang <laughs> Studios? I am a game designer, which means I am the one that gets to decide how difficult the bosses are. So I'm sorry about that one. You I'll can blame it. me for that. Chat, where is it? <laughs> People will blame you for that. That's okay. While I have you here on the stage, where is it? which mob are you voting for? I need it. Where is I it? I think if I don't say I'm a I am voting the for crash? the Astrologer, my team will kill me. So, but it's an amazing mob. It brings a lot of fun to dungeons, and I think it will bring a lot of fun to Minecraft as well. Okay, I figured you would say that, but I had mm. to ask. <laughs> so, tell me about the launch of dungeons this year. 
Oh wow, that, Where was, is the that pole? was quite the ride. It was such a crazy launch. I don't think anybody in the team expected to ever uh, release a game from Ian, home. Ian, Kristen, uh, spam so we the poll if you see it. In this, like, <coughs> Please. Teams call and, like, they just said it's up apparently, but I'm like looking at the see it. And comments from players, and it, it was very good. It was fun in a different <sighs> way. What would you say was your favorite thing from the release? I think it was how people came together <laughs> to play the game. It was very fun to see yet. parents like show their children dungeon crawlers. The social team is sleeping. Show their parents Minecraft. <laughs> I don't know. Sleeping. It was very nice no, to see everyone wake up. just sit together and play and Post enjoy. Post the poll. That sounds wonderful. Yes. Well, let's Please. take a look at what the community has done with what's come out so far. Yeah. Kind of actually believe that we like got close to the end and it was like nope. Well, t time to be blown up by more creepers. They absolutely hate you, those creepers. Oh yeah, Tom, your mother is joining us. Give us the poll. Give us the poll, dude. So the village merchant, a really cool merchant, simple. I can't even see my fucking items, tweets. And definitely a nice addition to oh, the game. Is. A good replacement <laughs> for the wandering trader. Now let's go check in with our friend the Black. Is just dying? Is What's going on? Dude? Something that I'm looking forward to. Where is it? This is one of the coolest things that is possible. Will, shut to the, the fuck up. It's not live yet. Okay. 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 Did you make this? They made it sound. He made it sound like it was up. Wilhelm scream. Oh boy. The Wilhelm scream. I thought I was done hearing the Wilhelm scream, but apparently not. We have to wait, chat. We have to wait till now. Yeah, till now. Yeah. They, they beat us. They beat us. Why did they put the will on screen? I still need to play this DLC, actually. You are free, villager. So I haven't played it. Ooh, I got an invisibility potion. Wow, maybe I'm too much in the Is it up? Are you beating me? Am I getting beaten? Oh, I have... Holy smoke! <gasps> it's up, 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 it's up. Vote. Vote, glowy boy. Glowy boy, glowy boy, glowy boy, glowy boy. Go, 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 go. Go! That looks so fun. Yeah, it's so cool to see people have fun with the game. <laughs> and it's fun to play. It's Animal. like crashing on my yes. <laughs> chat. It's I, actually I hope broken. So, at least. But this week, you also had. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is oh, no, no, no. a crazy month. Like, we haven't stopped. It still just says one vote things. for me. We released first the Christian Winter <laughs> they together with broke the it. new merchants and the new daily uh -oh. trials, which was uh -oh. awesome. I hope everyone mm. loved it. We launched for xCloud. <clears> so now people <throat> can play on mobile, which is so fun i really like that and this week we just launched in china so now we get to welcome our chinese friends to the community and i i am it's super broken, happy it's about broken, that. it's that's broken. really exciting well now we Glowy have a Glowy squid's winning community. it's winning right. barely Four hundred and seventy-seven thousand votes. It has been literally fucking two minutes. One minute. Oh my god. No wonder it crashed. Holy shit. Glow squid, glow squid, glow okay, squid. Glowy boy. Yes, but they were great, great, great questions. Thank you. For <laughs> it's like actually them. broken. Uh, <laughs> regarding the first question, I think we were very excited to see how fast people found the secret mushroom level. Like, I was very confused about it as well because we had worked very hard on making it very secretive and having little snippets of things everywhere, but players are so smart they found it so fast so if you haven't played the mushroom <laughs> level go go check it out because it's very fun and the second question, i replied to the tweet right, i don't know uh, if it's gonna even show up it's, so it's lagging so we're hard chat to talk about today yeah. we're gonna talk about our coming up upcoming dlc that we prepared with our friends at double eleven holy shit and that's called the howling peaks Three hundred and sixty thousand votes as well that's awesome oh my yeah. god and it's so we close between glow squid and ice yeah, let's check it out we are very lucky today that we have four members of the Dungeons team with us. Chat. Uh, here's Mariana at the Nintendo Switch. Hello. Here's Chris at the PC. Here's David Chat. at the PlayStation 4. And at the Xbox One, we have Annika. So we get to show you here for the first time Crossplay, which we're very excited about. 
uh, so people can play together from Point everywhere. 0.7 percent. And yeah, that's the our first look at the mountain spider. Oh fuck! Fuck! Oh shit! Already, I see <clears> it right there. Oh yeah, yeah. We were so happy. We asked the Minecraft team if we could bring goats to dungeons, and they said yes. So we get to release them a bit first in dungeons. So we're super excited about that. They're equally <laughs> spamming. <laughs> yes. So I see a lot of wind. They gerrymandered yeah, the results yes. against blue. Uh, wind Boo is blue. the mechanic that we're going <laughs> to explore about? a lot in the mountains missions. And uh, <laughs> the players will be both challenged by it and will be able honestly, to use it. Honestly, so the wind will okay, push this is, the player, this is loud. so you need to be a bit careful. Honestly, but piss cow, I, I'm totally fine with winning as well. Because, push items and I mean, open doors and but like, like Ice Soldier, so ah, oh my god, it's a draw. It's actually a draw. It's almost right. at half a million so, votes. Yeah, we're mountains. 16 minutes left, chat. So, so tall that the player will need to find new ways to traverse the levels. Holy so shit, dude. Awesome. All right, I'm just going to I'm just going to not look at it for a while. Of, like, this I'm just going to ignore it for a while. We're just going to enjoy this. It All right. Like a really fun new mechanic. Going to enjoy yeah. this. Uh, yeah, the goats are all around and you need to be careful. I legit want to get back into this yeah, now. Yes, they are really I like dungeons a lot. It was really fun. So leave the goats alone. Yes. Literally. Argue with me, <laughs> Phil. That's very important. <laughs> There's no argument. Uh, glowy boy. I right. I acknowledge that me wanting glowy boy weather, is incredibly selfish. I acknowledge this because I have the perfect build the to put him into. Oh, what are these? These are new I have end lantis, which is my end realm, flooded with water, completely customized. It already has fish. They're so quite sturdy. It already has colors, drowned right, zombies. Colors, uh, I want glowy boy, uh, dude. I want I want a glowy right boy. Player, Give me it. Come on. So Please. Okay. It's very important to deal with them. Quick You'll be on season five before, before they add glowy boy. Oh, you motherfucker, dude. They're going to be painful <laughs> to combat otherwise. Well, they're doing a pretty good job against these wind colors. Yes. Our Does anybody agree with me on the glowy boy? <laughs> Am I literally on this hill by myself shouting? Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, but so far, I can see that the, all the consoles are working very neatly together. We're super happy about that. I agree uh, with you, says Kristen. Oh, nicely, there we go. I hope everyone can soon play together. Oh, that was I see. Nice I, there's, a, there's a few of you. I wanted to say, like, that's <laughs> Dream a also agrees. Mob, but a man of culture. A man of culture, I see. Yes. <laughs> Leading up to this big Ravager battle. Yes. But a man of culture. We can let our adventurers deal with the Ravagers. <laughs> <laughs> not very well. I'm trying not to pay too much attention to this because I want to play the DLC and then see yeah. this for the first time. So, with all of this, you also have a new game mode coming. 13 minutes left. Yeah, the game mode is called Oh my god, Glow Squid winning. Oh my god. For all the players, oh my god. And that's called Apocalypse <sighs> Plus. Uh, yes, Dream. Which means that we're making yes. the game just. Glow Squid! You know, Harder, a bit of boy, time. boy. Uh, yeah. When you We're call something excited. apocalypse, it sounds okay. very hard. Okay. Ten yeah, minutes, chat. Ten minutes, we'll find out. Means that it gets even I think harder. he said we're doing so two rounds of votes. New challenges, and we we found different ways to right? tweak the balance so the challenge is different every time. But. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. You're working on even more new okay. things for dungeons. We're working on a ton of stuff. I feel we've been so busy. It's crazy. Uh, that's but good. Yeah, I like today, dungeons. Uh, it's good. It's a good game. A video with a lot of work in progress. It's very work fun. Work in progress, though. My very work in progress. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I think we should look at the video. Wait, that's my line. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh, this looks pretty. Fuck! Sh what's that? What, what? Will is just screaming. Fuck shiny fish! All my homies hate shiny fish, bruh. Uh, now, I will. I know you're salty about piss cow not winning. All right. I know you're salty. Tommy as well. I know you guys are salty. I mean, so losers, I guess. Oh, this song. Oh, you're floating and shit. Wait, you're underwater. Oh. End realm. Yes. 
Wait, are you going to fight the dragon as a boss fight? Shut the fuck up. No way. Oh my god. I saw an end portal. It's such a pretty game. One of my favorite things we do at Mojang Studios is Minecraft Education Edition. Students around the world are able to learn in exciting and interactive ways. This is really using cool. The game as a learning based platform. A lot of respect for Students them releasing an education in edition. In 15 countries around the world pretty pop. are able to collaborate, learn and share together. Minecraft has always been a way to connect people. And we've seen that now more than ever with Minecraft Education Edition being used in remote learning. When you're in the game, you don't have to feel so far away from your classmates. From creating graduation ceremonies in Japan, to creating first date orientations for American universities, to <laughs> teachers doing virtual meetups. It's no Java <laughs> edition. I'll give it that. But it's pretty pog that is a thing. Ways. And schools Today, are legitimately putting it on their PCs Minecraft and shit. Right? You haven't got fucking Derek around the corner the being a little shithead downloading hacks Over on Java and trying to install fucking 50 mods, right? While humans stayed inside. <laughs> it's got like actual and version of Minecraft that everyone can just fuck with. It's free pog. Italy. And wild boar roam the streets of Barcelona. Look how cool that is, man. But what if animals I would have killed for this shit if I was in school. Time. Today, Bruh. we're kicking off the first ever Minecraft Education Global Build Championship. Ooh. And asking students around the world to design and build healthy spaces for humans and animals to coexist together. What will you build? Pog. Hey, I'm Ayana. I'm a developer. Fucking, I, I would have fucking I loved for this shit. God damn, dude. Cute. You're all spot rotten. <laughs> and if I were to design a build for the global championship, I would make a house with a habitat for my cats on top. You're not allowed. I would call it a habitat. Chad, you're not allowed. Shush. <laughs> what is Will screaming? I literally wrote a song when I was 13 about how shit squids are. Don't make the same mistake again. <sighs> Design and build Will. your own solution in Minecraft Education Edition for the chance to win Minecraft. This is the time a squid awesome has finally looked pog as fuck. And a video chat with Mojang Studios. The championship opens today. They're trying to fix their mistake. <laughs> Alright. You can register Stop. today and download the <laughs> championship world template. We can't wait to see your amazing ideas, and Jens and I can't wait to see uh. the winner on video chat. We get the awesome How prize of chatting with you. No I'm matter looking. I'm wins. looking at the Twitter poll again. For those of you who don't have Education Edition, we have something for you too. Our education team has already added amazing free lessons. Oh to Minecraft my Minecraft. God! It's inching We've ahead. Been working with some amazing educators oh. on about diversity and inclusion coming this fall. Hi, Minecraft Live. I'm Kenneth Shelton, and along with my fellow educators, Felisa Ford and Natasha Rochelle. We've been building a series of Minecraft lessons that will help people explore topics of social justice, equity, identity, Blue Squid and is tolerance. winning. The first of these lessons Blue is called winning. Good Trouble, and it's based on the life and philosophy of congressman and civil rights it's activist. It's winning by like a 1% chat. It's lessons so lessons fucking close. About social justice from across the world and through time. From Black Lives Matter to Malala's quest in Pakistan to achieve equal education for girls to the civil rights movement of 1960s Mr. Beast endorsed it. Mr. Beast. Morris. We can't wait to share these important yes. lessons with the Minecraft community. Oh I'm looking God. forward to playing through the good travel lessons myself. Together with the Minecraft community, we commemorated Juneteenth with contributions to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, oh, the Equal Justice Initiative, and the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. We're proud to continue supporting organizations that fight for equity and equality in the world by making an additional donation today to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. This brings our 2020 contributions to over $2 million. Beyond this, we continue to look within our company, our products, and ourselves for how we can help create a more inclusive world. It's winning, it's winning, it's winning. Now it's time for a brand new segment of our show. You may have missed our next guest during the Minecraft update segment, but not to worry. Half a million. Oh my God. Over half a million. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you very 
not Hi, Jeb. <laughs> Hi, man. It was very different not having you in the Minecraft update section. Yes, um, yes, oh. it's, it, it's a little bit different this year since uh, <laughs> we always want the ones that are actually working on on the features of the games to be the ones to get to talk about them because we feel that it gets more genuine in that, that way. Um, so what are you working on then? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> no, I work, I, of course, I still spend the a lot of time. The fuck is he working on, dude? <laughs> and Agnes and, and the team. Uh, but I now work with all our products, all our games, and like the board games, and uh, try to support our um, developers and designers. Squid deserves uh, an update, to, chat. To Come on. Capture the Minecraft feeling and make them fit together. Uh, but uh, honestly, everyone's so talented, so it's actually quite an easy job. <laughs> uh, but uh, to help um, help everyone, uh, both in Stockholm and in Redmond, I I m wrote a book, um, a Minecraft game design book. Are you trying mm. to sell that to everyone in the audience watching? <laughs> no, this is only for Mojang Studios employees. Uh, it, con it contains a lot of secrets. Uh, but uh, it was helpful when they... When hey, Moja, you want to invite me over? To, you know, I promise I won't look at the book. My thoughts and ideas. Promise. Minecraft. And promise. In, uh, for vanilla I won't steal the book for the internet. I promise, guys. Help us, uh, continue <laughs> updating the game for many years to come. But you did decide to share some today, so people can kind of see what's, what's in the, the Jeb game design book. Absolutely. Um, so... One of these guiding principles uh, is, it, it maybe sounds obvious, uh, but that is, um, it's always one block at a time. Um, you place one block, you remove one block, you pull one lever, and uh, you trigger one TNT, and of course that causes a big explosion. But uh, at the core, the interaction is always one block at a time. <laughs> and it's not only important... That's great, Jeb. The, but uh, combat update game, when, Pog? Um, if you're playing together with someone, let's say you build. We're waiting. House, We're so fucking hyped for it, dude. Come on. I able to observe what you're doing <laughs> and <laughs> quickly understand where Please. you're going. And, and then I can help just a date, you at least. every block counts. Oh. Um, if you would just copy paste or make templates and such, um, then then it would be a, a little bit harder to collaborate. Um, and also, Minecraft is a lot about the journey. Uh, to, to create your massive castle or what, whatever. <laughs> but uh, so, so it, it's important to be, we retain that feeling. And you have another principle, but it applies pretty directly to a community question that we have. Ooh. Heavy fog would be fucking pog. Ah, um. What the shirt is the Chongo Wanja, Daja Hao, can see a need that you went. Oh my god! The, the Chinese what, community what the inspired fuck? me to try to take on a new language, but I have a long way to go, honestly. But about He's the question, if we want to add things like uh, natural disasters, um, <laughs> that um, just did that kind of contradicts <laughs> one of our other gui gui guiding principles that bad things happen. <sighs> But they're technically the player's fault. Okay, they're the player's <laughs> fault. <laughs> yes, in the sense that it was either caused by a player, like a griefer, or summoning the wither, or a player was nearby. Oh, was oh, what about what about the uh, the uh, the so bugs? Do we gonna forget happens, about those? We want to make sure that the players are act either the season three ring a bell, guys. A Is that ring a happening. bell? Um, <coughs> an earthquake or a tornado would obviously Is that uh, my fault? destroy something that you've spent hours building. But there's definitely a few I can think of that yes. maybe fall outside yes, of there, this principle. There, there, are, there are still a few cases like uh. uh, Enderman can grab a block uh, and maybe wreck up some redstone. Um, or you can have an unlucky wolf running into your, sh your sheep garden. <laughs> uh, but there's or you could the glitch through the, the, the voids. But can set your whole house on fire. And um, be fucking I'm pushed off the edge. Uh, Agnes and the team might, may have a yeah right. That. Mm, exciting. Mm -hmm. So, what's the last feature you were active in developing? Um, yes, uh, the last feature I did was uh, the Netherite feature. Um, I I thought that was a very important part of the Nether update, and wanted to help uh, where, where where I can. Um, 
but uh, I all I don't want to. Uh, I since I'm working with so many different projects now, I don't want to do something halfway and then kind of leave it to the, to the team to fix my bugs. <laughs> 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 so I try I try to be a little bit hands off. Um, but uh, recently, I've of course uh, also been working a little bit on making a combat test snapshots. That yeah. leads us to another community question. Hey, I'm Dan TDM, Dan! and I would love to know what kind of combat mechanic changes are being made to Minecraft Java Edition. You've been paying attention yes. to the snapshots, Dan. Yeah, you'd know. Excellent question. Um, <clears throat> you would know this. <laughs> we, we current we currently have. Uh, a problem that uh, on the two different editions of the game there are t different combat mechanics or combat systems and uh, that's bad both for us as designers PvP, PvE. That have, have to take both systems into account but also bad for the community that wants to have the same experience mm. um, so the main obje Bedrock. objective is to reach parity uh, Java. but I still want to make sure that we make a system that is kind of fits with the building and that doesn't distract too much from building uh, but Kyle shut the fuck up I will time you out that allows us to design interesting um, close quit um, behaviors um, <laughs> also I want to make sure that it works both good in both player versus it's environment close quit. that means adventuring <laughs> Uh, and players versus player, and I want to make sure that it feels good playing both with boy. mouse and keyboard. Vote and glowy boy. A controller, you don't get tired by frequently pressing the trigger, uh, and we also want to improve touch, uh, like the touch experience. So it, it's, you have to be like a lot of you have to accommodate to for everybody. <laughs> but it's difficult. you said you weren't working on feature development, but yeah, then it's you true. are working on <laughs> combat. Yes, I, I mean, of course, it's a little bit it, hard to. Keep your hand out of the feature cookie <laughs> jar. <laughs> um, uh, but I, in this case, I also felt that this was this was an area where I could help uh, the team, uh, so they could focus on doing the the content <laughs> updates. Uh, but at some point in the future, I will, of course. Dump this on the team. <laughs> okay, so exactly what you said. You <laughs> yes. He's working on the combat. And they will have to carry it over the finish line. Yes. Nice. Brilliant. Now, speaking of combat, we just had a really cool announcement about Alex and Steve coming to Super Smash Brothers. Yes, and that is so amazing. Yep, yep, and uh -huh. uh, just like I said, I like can't my, wait to see Alex and Steve means tearing it up at Evo. I am going to lose my fucking like mind, dude. <laughs> I want have, somebody to learn the ins and outs. Close good one! understand Minecraft and have made an absolutely amazing oh! uh, Super Smash yes! Brothers fighter. And yes, Sakura yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's really that's that's one. That's number one. That's number one. That's that's vote number one. They're going to do another one, I think. It's probably going to be between Ice Soldier and Glow Squid, the final vote. Konnichiwa. Dairanto Smash Brothers director Sora no Sakurai Masahiro desu. Eh, Smabra ni Minecraft no content ga dounyou saremasu. My dude, Sakurai. Holy shit. Small boy Enderman. Kokubetsu kousou o todoke shita no desu ga mitei itadaketa de shou ka? Moshi mada no kata wa zehi gora kudasai. I'm going to lose it if I say wasure ru gurai. Minecraft no spin-off to shite mo Steve has like the potential to be super fucking busted, I feel. And if somebody learns everything about him, oh my god. If a pro player picks up this, this fucking character, can you imagine? Look at that. L look how fucking busted that is. He's blocked them up with blocks. <laughs> Oh. That was a really big secret to keep. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it was a it was a really hard secret to keep even in the studio because it was super 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 secret. But it has been so fun, so much fun. Steve's gonna get banned yeah, from Evo. Yeah, it's amazing to see the community reaction. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're gonna switch gears here. He's you gonna have some like minecart infinite within the office, which is the world <laughs> would be a better place if everyone played Minecraft. And why do you think that? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I suppose the quote has kind of gotten a life of, it, of its own. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> but, has. Uh, but yes, I, I, I like a shit. Like I think uh, Minecraft unleashes 
people's creativity and uh, and let, helps them col collaborate, but also teaches them things like, like geometry, languages, and maths. So yes, I, I do think that the world would be a better place if everyone played Minecraft. But I, I know that you also are, are very engaged in building a better world. <laughs> You're interviewing me now, Jens. Thanks. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's... I feel so privileged to work on Minecraft because of all the amazing things that people do with it from Education Edition. There's nothing else like it, really. I'm extremely passionate about is Block by Block, which is our partnership with UN Habitat. And it's really helping people reimagine their public space and then have it built. All right, so Glow Squid officially won, by the way. I love this place. It's such a nice area, but it has not always been like this. Blue Squid won. Stay mad, piss well, cow supporters. the area felt very cold <laughs> and unsafe. Basically, it was just an abandoned place. Block by Block is a program created by Mojang and UN Habitat, where we use Minecraft to help community members redesign their neighborhoods. Kosovo has been impacted Whoa. by years of conflict. And in those situations, we often see communities divided and public spaces neglected. It was a really cool project because even the little kids like me could help out with. They turned it into a skate place. park. They got to use Minecraft to and try different solutions about how the space could be improved. It was very fun because you felt like to be able to help the city while just playing. After that, the ideas were presented to local architects and city planners, and later that year, construction started. Holy shit! This was five years ago. It's been five years since it took them five years the program and uh, the street since then has become more developed and it is now more frequented than before. I had to blur out that logo on a, on a shirt. Do you see that? It seemed kind of unbelievable that this was made with Minecraft. No free clout. <laughs> my own idea as a kid, changing a whole area in my city, it was very special to me. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking cool. It's Come on, dude. That's actually we sick. Able to make reality what was once only an idea in our computer screen. Finally, decision makers have changed their perspective because maybe they realize that we can make a change. In a democracy, you want the people who live in that community to be asked about what's going to happen in that community. So this is a perfect cool. example. The community was asked, the community decided, the community designed, and the community is using it. I'm probably going to be like really happy and be like, hey, friends, I, I made this. I walk. I made this every smile. Day, and every time I see it and I see a lot of people um, spending time here, <laughs> it's a, a very gratifying feeling. I just hope it will become you made this? as soon as possible. I made this. So the reaction of the community <laughs> was great. And to me, it was a great feeling, which I'll never forget. I came up with a skate park idea. And, of course uh, you did. Fuck yeah, dude. Good shit. Well it's done. It's possible to change the world and make your dreams come true. It's actually pretty decent. It felt like I was being heard and being heard. And That's what old people used to exercise at the park. Here. They thought about everyone here. Everyone's included. <laughs> I actually was able to go to Kosovo at the start of that project. And it's just amazing. I see, to see old people doing that shit. Using Minecraft. <laughs> Why are those things <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> just a, fucking walk amazing. forehead. <laughs> I don't yes, get it. You must have seen a lot of amazing things because you're about to hit. Is it because the ankles hurt or some shit? It's like too much, too much impact. Like two or three months. On your yes, bones. It's true. Yeah, yeah I, it it has been <laughs> an amazing journey these these ten years, and uh, uh, I have had so much fun fun working on Minecraft. Uh, but of course, I'm also a Minecraft player, and we're all like with the community. Uh, and in the end, it's really the players and the community that gives everything its purpose. Yeah, absolutely. And from myself as part of the community, I just want to say, like, thank you for the 10 years and all There's that some you've claps done in the for chat. Minecraft. It's made a but huge yeah. difference in my life and I think many people watching right now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jens. Thanks, man. Last year at Live, Good we shit. announced the Nether update. Maybe since then, you've been wondering about what it would be like to attend a nether ballet. Wonder no more. What? Our friends at Element Animation will dance us through what? all the new nether features.
Sam Tommy, I've never wondered that question, but here it is. They make good shit though, to be fair. Their animations are really good. I love every time I see a new animation from these like people on the YouTube channel and that, that's, that's so fucking good. You'll recognize it from the trailers. <laughs> If only that could happen. The fuck's a sheep doing there? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Piglin and brutes, monkey ass. Results of the first round of voting are in. Oh the shit! The round which determined which mob's dreams would be dashed, with no hope of making it into the final round. And it was intense. But sadly, let's all say a fond farewell to the poor Moo Bloom. Then forget oh. it ever existed, because it's time to vote again. We are now down to the Isolager and the Oh my Ghost God, that's brutal! <laughs> They were quite close. I'm quite interested to see Woo. where the voters of the Mooblin will go. If you missed the first round of voting, make sure you get in on this one. It determines which one of these two makes it into Minecraft. This is not a drill, chat. Who I'll be voting for. The final no. voting poll is no. now. Yeah, it's, no, this it's is him. Chance him. To have a say yeah, he's so cute. Look, at, look how Minecraft. cute he is. So don't leave yourself out. Log he's a good boy. And go he's such vote. a good boy. Oh fuck, here we go. Not a drill. Here we go. Twitter's crashed Hello, again. <laughs> I'm marketplace partner program, and I'm joined no! by two of my favorite people. I can't see Tweets! Hey, no! uh, I'm Fanny. I'm a developer on the Creator Systems team. And what we do is create, create tools for our uh, creator community. And some of them are very visible, <laughs> and we're going to talk about them later. Some others are more behind the scenes and that help our creators oh, make no. a content that is more efficient and reliable, like the schedule command that is coming out soon. Yep. I'm Jason. I'm a developer in the engine team, and we've been responsible for a it's lot broken, of It's broken, dude. I can't see his, I can't see tweets. That have come to I can't. Oh, oh, the last oh. Years. Oh. That's super cool. So your team, Okay, they successfully uh, deleted the last poll. For all of our incredible marketplace partners all around the world. Awaiting new poll. For you. Chat. I'm watching. I'm refreshing. Half a million people are probably refreshing right now. Right here, check. We've been making tutorials for the last seven years to teach others how to make their own Minecraft skins. We all got a right here, check that I didn't know I needed. Yep, there it is. Um, post on that still not been posted. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna stop refreshing. And we are 15 working here. Oh,
Yeah. Hope you're all voting why I think you vote in chat. So vote up. Alright, here we go. Get hype. And the best part is, is all these features can be used by all creators. Yeah, hype. Here we go, so boys. Today. Here we go. Yeah, so for the last couple of years, we've been doing a lot of work with the entities in the game. So this time, we've doubled down. Glow the squid. Glowy boy. So Let's go. So as part of that, I made a uh, custom crop to kind of show off a lot of the capabilities. Honestly, they're both so pretty good. Over the summer, uh, I would have been totally fine with it. Studios was given tomato seeds to try and Either get one, I'm fine with. Glowy squid, so I'm biased. Yeah. <gasps> Um, so I'm biased to AF. I want glowy squid, dude. Place the seeds, use the crops. So if we get Isolager, if we get the yeah. Chillager. Couple of them getting to the flower stage. So pretty cool. Now that I can so pretty pog. Pick. So in this case, I've made them work like the sweet berry bush where you can just right click on them. But What's happening? I think tomatoes taste disgusting. I tuned out. So I thought it was better to make them as a something you can throw. Oh, so it's MCC. <laughs> <they're>, uh, <laughs> With throwing tomatoes at people that get locked in sand yeah. of time. Totally <laughs> Mostly by accident. <laughs> um, but tomatoes will actually rot on the vine as well. And they, the if they rot for too long, you get a little rotten tomato monster that can spawn from it. So I'm going to fight him off here. But uh, yeah, he throws uh, rotten tomatoes. Honestly, they, uh, like I said, chillage. They don't as far as a regular tomato, but they knock it a lot more. But Either one. Of, I'm going to be happy because they're both pretty pog. The best idea. Right. So I'm going to get rid of all my plants. We didn't really yeah, know much know. about what the yeah, Moobloom yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> so all these they kind of like undersold it. <laughs> all we sort of knew <laughs> was that it interacted with the bees. Crayers can go and make some really cool kind of like farming style maps. Oh, definitely. So like I think crops are a great example of showing off how they all can kind of come together. The Chillager, we know that he spawns um, ice in the air and attacks you, but he only spawns up on mountains. Um, but they also have Glowy Boy the to get stuns you from things like and looks event. pog. So as it as that event is fired, you can like make, it was walk, stacked against the piss the piss cow, dude. And everything and was stacked the against point, it. Like, you can choose like what they kind of elaborated a little bit. Growth and stuff like that. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Then maybe, like, but like, like a normal berry bush. It's, gl it's yeah, glowy boy. Then, you know, it's glowy boy all the yeah, way. It's just another interact. It's an interactive event that you can key into. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a oh god. monster there at the end too. Oh my god, it's gonna win! Oh my god, it's gonna win! Oh my god, it's going to fucking win! <laughs> One of the features that our creators have requested for so long, you have commands to be able to run them. Oh my God, it's happening! So now instead of also in in addition to doing it with actors, you can also do it with blocks and items. In this case, as the flower. Sixteen minutes left. You can disappear that crop. Sixteen minutes left, chat. A tomato monster, a tomo monster. Yes. That's really cool because like I can totally see creators like using all of those combinations of features to make some like really cool. It's already half a million. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Sure that we can show you where we were going. Oh. And then we found this mysterious golden skull and also an equally mysterious pedestal in the middle of the desert. So we decided to place our golden skull over there and see what happened. And yes, we have a mountain that is hollow. Dude, and I, I need to breathe. Um, <laughs> and obviously we found oh my god! Inside. Luckily we have. Is it going to happen? To Are we getting glowy boy? Uh, oh, I have to. Re I have to really make sure I don't die in season four now because this is not going to come out for quite a while. But that pedestal, that's They're not going to get added until the caves and cliffs update, models. dude. Yeah, so I've been super excited that we finally be able to get block models in. It's something oh. we've been wanting to do for years, and we we're finally able to to work on them and, and get them in. Then we so have to deal with the warden with using the same in the new caves that we've been using for the entities. So the same tool. I, I still can't believe they've added wireless redstone. That is bonkers. So you don't have to like learn. That is absolutely bonkers. Almost identical. That's awesome. And then I noticed on the hotbar with the, the golden skull. That changes there was so like much. A little red triangle. 
Oh, that changes yes, so much. Item lock. I don't know if you Everything is going to be simplified way more. You have this special item and then we're not going to have to have like redstone towers now we've made with like um, the, all the torches going up in a, in a line or having like a redstone kind of like spiral. We could just do it wirelessly. Yeah, there'll be a small delay, but it's wireless, dude. You could hide those. You could literally hide them as floor floating blocks as decoration there's nothing connected to them that's just one possibility i'm not even thinking of dude I, I, I can't even imagine what the redstone boffins are going through right now and then you can help players convey something like uh, there is an earthquake going on, or maybe something is going to about to fall. Uh, okay, breathe, you, breathe, so breathe. You can do that with this new yeah. cool. Or dinosaurs. Or dinosaurs. Get a dinosaur <laughs> steps. <laughs> yes. Uh, the second I've, one I have no idea what they're talking about. Is, um, <laughs> structures. You can now place them using commands. Oh my god, Whereas you're right! Before, you had to Holy shit! Street lights! You could have it set up now you can to be connected easily. to and lamps. Commands, you can now and then hit a button, and it'll just like flow. This, like the just one by one, like boom, 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 in a row. A couple of effects. One is just like a 3D oh my god. One is layer by layer. And yeah, you can combine them to just... Yo! <laughs> Yeah, I can see like creators, you know, using those. To that would be so cool. Okay, right. This is yeah. This world. is wild. Exactly. This is fucking nuts. I recognize the scorpions. <laughs> yeah, well, the desert theme. It felt appropriate to bring them back. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of something cool you could do with the chillager, with the isolager. I'm trying. I'm really trying, chat. But like. Having to rescue my mom from some like aliens riding a scorpion. It was creepy. I'm sorry. That was not the intention. It was creepy and funny. Yeah. Ice farms. There's literally. Literally, already a busted ice farm you can make. Well, they made you run through, Jason. That's not that you don't even know if the ice that he spawns is mineable. For one, you don't even know if you can collect it. First of all, but at the beginning here, it's a pretty typical sort of park. From the little clip that we saw in the intro, they showed him spawning ice in the air and it falling and breaking. Even I know I can't make that jump. It leads me to believe that as soon as it touches something, it shatters. So I'm pretty sure you know. So you're probably not going to be able to do anything with that, right? So now, hopefully, I will jump and be able to. I just want clear this gap. The glowy boys. Yes. To add some sort of like more like color. Kind of make it along and see what next obstacle we have. Now I know the chests have. I think it's winning. I think it's actually going to win. We got a block in here. And we'll throw that across. I think it's actually going to win, chat. Now I can make this jump. Oh my god. It is. <laughs> it is. Yo, it's not even close anymore. It was like 1%. But it poisoned me, so I needed to use the It was 1% before when we had the piss cow involved. Now it is. Like, wait, dude, that's like 3, 4, 5%. Now we got a wall in the way, so let's see what tool we have to get through the wall. The Moo Bloom crowd have joined our side. And yes, Presto, dude. And get through here. Rally the troops. Let's keep going along. <laughs> yes, you have to vote. Go to Twitter. Our last obstacle here, but I can see the. Eleven minutes left. But I can't Go to Twitter. Get to it, but that shaft up above looks promising, along with the ladder. So let's, oh let's my see, God! Five hundred and eighty-nine thousand oh, votes. Block breaks. I can get to the teleporter. <laughs> and Fanny's already there. Safe to say, everybody is invested in this right now. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> wow, that's 86 cool. times. I love the, the aesthetic of that too, as well, like all the art and things. So those teleport blocks, mm -hmm. those seem yes. like a really cool way to add like another yes, level of immersion dude. to the worlds you're creating. Yeah, uh, with, with data-driven items and blocks, we get so many new events that you can act on. Like for example, in the case <laughs> of the teleporters, you can uh, step on it and then an event will trigger and you can react in so many ways. I see so many people uh, salty about not getting the ice yeah, on it. You run a series of commands that just teleport you to the next area. That's awesome. And I love the slamming <laughs> of the block mayor and the magic wand. I've never seen items do that before. Oh, yeah, that's so, so salty. Example of how combining the same tools you can achieve so many I just want another cool mob to put in and plant this. I am selfish as fuck. I couldn't think of anything event, decent to use the isolager for. He's like an early game the, threat uh, in mountains. At the bottom with the slime. Which, for with one, the who the one, fuck uh, the is going to go over mountains? Just You're just going to dig through it. There's air. nothing up there. And then we also had the blockinator, which allowed you to walk by placing some blocks, replacing air with blocks. So just by combining... Let's be real. The same command in different ways. Why are you going to be up there 
yeah, in the first like place. Small little simple things you can combine in lots of different Early games. game. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's not going to be a threat. A wide variety of results. And even that block in They're already adding a threat. That jump. They're yeah. adding the warden. I also saw that there was, you know, messing with mob That hit as well. for like yeah, what? So we've had an example of custom food. Was it like eight there. hearts? Um, Seven or eight hearts on full like netherite. Like normally does you can add and remove mob effects. So we had the cyber dog that gave three effects: the levitation, nausea. Holy and shit! Poison. And then we had the antidote that would actually only remove two of them. So unlike a bucket of milk, it removes six all and a half effects, hearts um, in one hit. Remove very specific things. Bruh. Yeah, and it seemed like you got you know after you use that or after you use the the, the magic. We're well, already getting a wall, buff like you mob stuck. added. There was Clearly, else that was going on there. and oh, he's yeah. in so caves where you typically go way. to get so resources. To, like, hello, um, of course, that makes total fucking sense to, the, like, the to have a boss in a cave. On so in this That's case, Pog, on fall on and you can set an isologer on top of a mountain. So to when the fuck are you gonna see it? That. When are you gonna and climb that? On it, we then break the block, similar to what, like the tomato plant. We're already getting something on mountains. We're getting the mountain goats, dude. There's literally no need. Times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas squids uh, have looked the same have for like a decade, I feel. Finally getting a new type of squid. Case, we were tracking how many times Mayor was dying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, can't beat facts. For, for coming on to the stage and, and talking can't beat facts, chat. We're winning. And new features that are coming out. Everybody knows and we're winning. These new features, there's for that exact reason. Amazing new thing coming out later this year. For <sighs> it's always tough, though. Conquerors. It's always tough, chat. It's always tough because. Remember, GDL will not be held responsible in the event of a likely death. We just played this. Are they bringing back Terra Swoop Force? Oh my fucking god. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm going to fucking lose it, dude. Holy shit, they're bringing it back. Oh, it's my favorite. I fucking love Terra Swoop Force. They're bringing it back for free. Oh, they're updating their pajama finally. Yes. I know you've waited a long time for this update, and if you thought the first set of features for the caves were awesome, Nox Crew, you listened. Agnes and you fucking listened. Gameplay team are here to We love Terra Swoop Force so much. Update. Hello, welcome. Oh, they're updating it for 1.16, dude. Yes. So amazing. It's so awesome to find. Are we finally gonna get a sequel? Oh my god. Yes. It feels great, and we have you know, looked a bit at tweets during the break, and we have some more tweets. We have more guests. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. That was okay. I'm, I'm glad I kept this like on so I could hear it. There's so many cool things you can build with that. And the warden. Nox crew, dude. It's amazing to see all the excitement. Terra Swoop Force. So happy. I'm so fucking happy. Yes, I, I joined this year. Um, but honestly, I'm not they snuck that one in, sure didn't they? <laughs> how that happened, uh, and not just joining Mojang. I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm here in Minecraft Live, uh, because like j just last year, I was home, glued to the stream. It's just, just I had to know what, what the next thing is coming to Minecraft. Oh, that's cute. Today, it's not only that I get to share that; it's I got to work on some of those things. So it's. It's fairly incredible, um, but yeah, I've been I've been uh, developing games for a few years now, and uh, more recently, I've actually worked with uh, this nonprofit organization called Games for Peace, which is an amazing organization which basically uses games to promote peace. Like he, he takes kids from areas of conflict all around the world and sits them down to play Minecraft. And sometimes it's kids that don't even share a language, so they can't talk. So Minecraft is the language they share. Why Minecraft people is happy clap. helps them connect and get to know each other and, and creates friendships, right? And it's, it's, it, it was amazing being part of that. It's so cool. I mean, sometimes I feel like, oh, I know all the amazing things that are happening with Minecraft. And then you described that to Agnes and That's I. That's wholesome as fuck, like, dude. Yeah. We've never heard That's that. super it's wholesome. So, so cool. It's, so it's beautiful. Amazing. Absolutely it's amazing. beautiful. So in this update, you've been really looking at like filling out the caves even more. Yes, so there are even more things to show. And in 
the things we showed so far, it's a lot about like improving the journey underground. But of course, we also want to add like new things to find, like new resources. And one of them are crystals. They make noises. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're so <laughs> beautiful. Yes. yes, that the moment you turn the corner and you see that glowing thing, that's so yeah. it's just it's like incredible. The so they can just straight up spawn like that. It's like mystical. Just um uh, yeah, they're so pretty. And we were thinking a lot about like what is the purpose for crystals in Minecraft? And one thing is like they should have a use and we will talk more about one of the usages soon. Oh my god. The other thing is a lot about just adding a lot to the experience of exploring. And we want them to be quite rare. So when you find them, it's really gonna be like like magical because they're just beautiful and you know when you walk on on the crystals you hear these sounds yeah it's, it's just we talked before about the pillar of underground of marvel mm. i feel they're just the perfect feature for that sort of pillar, yeah. right but you can't just take them with you right so oh. you can break the crystal plant we saw in the video but they actually <laughs> grow from a very special block and that block is unobtainable. It's it's sort of like you think about uh, spawners, right? You cannot just Bruh. take it and put it in your base. It it it, it in, uh, makes you go and build farms all around your world, and that also encourages you to create tunnels between them and and find out ways of transferring those items from place to place. And I just love those sort of features that really encourage other uh, uh, gameplay in the game. As an explorer myself, I'm very excited. I wanted to harvest that so much. All of these and you mentioned a usefulness to them oh yeah okay all so right from Fuck, here those we go. crystal plants you get crystal shards items and you can actually use them to craft a telescope a fucking what <laughs> vanilla zoom <laughs> That is amazing. It is. It's such a useful item. Super cool. And the cool thing is that, so yes, you <laughs> use the crystal shards to craft them, but you also need something more. And that's also a new thing that we added. Oh my God, they're gonna show everything. They're just fucking doing it. Copper? Copper! People have been asking for this for fucking years. Okay. It's copper. They've been asking for this for That's so long. Amazing. Yes, it's new ore. Um, and in you saw the copper ore in the video, and a, a very interesting thing with the copper ore is that it generates in a different way. So normal ores often generate like an ore blob. But copper, copper is different. So imagine that you are, are out mining and you see copper ore. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna mine the copper. And then you see some stone. It's like, hmm, they look a bit different. So you continue to mine and then you find another copper ore. And you probably go like, okay, I think I found a copper vein. So we're actually adding ore veins to Minecraft. And like, they really add so oh. much to mining. It gets so interesting because it's kind of like following a trace when you mine. And they tie so well to the what? people we have about adding strategy to mining. Yeah. That's amazing. And you've you've personally wanted copper oh. in the game <laughs> since you start, maybe before you started? Yeah. Oh. You mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> well, maybe a few times. Veins <laughs> of ores. Yes. Oh. So I think I got inspired by the pretty copper roofs in Stockholm oh, and yes. they are all green because we have so many like old buildings here and we've actually added that mechanic to Minecraft as well so you know if you place a, a, a copper block it will first be orange but after a while a pretty long time it will turn green and it's something ah I think it's so cool because it actually adds history to Minecraft because 
for example, if you have a really old Minecraft world, then you can see on like a house and like, oh, the roof turned all green. And then you know that that house has been there. For oh really my God. They added oxidizing. Oh my God. They did it. They just added a block that could like fucking de decay. Holy shit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Really That's actually really cool. Thing that you'll be able to craft with it. Yeah. Oh. So um, more. Jens talked a bit before about these design principles that we have in Minecraft. Oh my god. And one of them what is the that fuck if something gonna do bad now? happens, the the player either caused caused it or it has a way to sort of avoid it. Uh, and one of those exceptions, for example, is lightning uh, striking. Now, some people like to build wooden roofs in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Some even build wood, wool roofs. At and me. they burn the fuck <laughs> down. <laughs> as soon like as they get hit by the lightning. The castle on, in my realm actually has a roof fully built of wool. <laughs> yeah, that's not, not a good idea. No, but, we uh, fires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to try <laughs> to help the players with that, we are introducing the lightning rod. Two, five, four. Oh! Oh, charge creeper farm! Uh, charge creeper farms! Oh! <laughs> that is very useful for all the wool roofs. <laughs> that out is. There. Yeah, Fucking I brilliant. think this is a problem that uh, happened to a lot of our players. Uh, even personally, I had this peaceful game that I played with my partner. That is so good. It wasn't peaceful. And we went out and we were like looking at animals, collecting a few animals to our base. That's getting put on the farm. Our, that's that's, uh, a, that's uh, a charge creeper farm done. for heads. And I was quite confused. Instant. Because <laughs> I consider myself to be someone who knows... Before, you would have to have a no giant creepers, field no no full of creepers happened. and just that hope that some of them would get hit by lightning. And we were quite traumatized because... We were then we got the tridents and it was like, so oh, okay, cool. This, like, now you can just make that, that shit. Yeah, now you don't have to worry about that problem anymore. No, yes. I'm going to place like lightning rods everywhere on my... And guarantee every single time. Now, you've introduced a lot of things already. And that's that's players busted. Already have a <laughs> that's lot of really good. There's gonna be some nutty farms come out. Amount of items, but you have an idea for that. Yes. So as you know, we keep adding new blocks and new items all the time, and that do create a bit of an inventory problem. Backpacks. And we're aware of that, and we have actually been thinking quite a lot how we can solve it because we, have shulkers, we won't have like good gameplay. We don't gameplay have solution. an overworld we version. Want it to be balanced. You have to go to the end to get and shulkers. We actually have an item in this update that will be really helpful. The and Backpack. It's the bundles. It's a fucking bag. How big? How big? How big is it? How big? Please, please, please. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? That is weird. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's loud. So early game shul shulkers is what that is. That's bundles. That's yeah, really it, useful. This is early game, awesome. that is it's very such useful. It's an elegant solution as well, and I love it. I, I think we spend a lot of time talking about the inventory problem. And oh I my god, if you, the biggest takeaway if you can put those in shulkers, this is not oh fucking hell, problem. dude. It's it's constructed from a lot of sub problems. For example, uh, hotbar management is one part. Uh, getting a lot of blocks for your huge build somewhere that that's like something the shulkers help with. But I think there is a third sub problems where every time you leave your base to go explore, can you somewhere, put shulkers your in inventory it? Inventory keeps getting full of junk. Like this lot just has 
to flowers. <laughs> this lot has just one seed, what? right? And I think the bundles are <laughs> really going to help with that problem. Yes. So the thing with the bundles <laughs> is that you can place many different kinds of items in one bundle. So many different kinds of items in one inventory slot. So for example, I can take these two flowers and one <laughs> seed and put them in one bundle. It's great. <laughs> And you can kind of use them like presents too. Oh yes, I'm, I'm so excited about <laughs> seeing what players do them in uh, like shopping district, right? You can have the the bundle of the day, which has a bunch of things with it, or you can have secret bundles where you have three of them in a chest, but you get a random one. I think it's really gonna be cool. Yes, and for example, if your friend has a birthday, Holy you can put like, your shit. prettiest item in the bundle because it looks like a gift wrapper. But can and we put shulkers in them? Friend. That's so cool. We've talked so much today on the like, really game design Please, they're not going to tell us, dude. How do you work on the art side? Oh, they're not going to say. We actually have a very close collaboration oh. with our team, and it's great. Oh, my God. If you could put shulkers inside of those things, that so is fucking is busted. To get an abstract that idea is going to be ridiculous. Imagine how it would fit into the Minecraft universe and then start sketching it. So once my sketch is finished, I send everything to the 3D artist that it's going to model yeah, it so and awesome. animate it to make it alive. Oh my god, my that was fucking to, cute. Uh, bring sketches to life and make them move in 3D space. Okay, so the animations the for this, this mob is really, is really good. <laughs> it's a challenge, it's fun, it's sometimes frustrating, <laughs> but uh, it's very rewarding. I love it. I make the pixel art of the block. And usually when I create a block texture for a new rock type, it's going to be a lot. Like, I'm going to make 50 iterations of one block because I want to make it right. Every block is like a building block oh, for Jasper. people's imagination, right? So I try to like yeah. put a lot of love in each block to make sure that people can create what they want. Oh, you're the best! You changed so Nether, you changed Netherrack, and we didn't even know we needed it changed, and it was fucking beautiful. Oh my god! Conventional, and that's where like actual genius, comes right there. Minecraft, in terms of actual art, fucking genius, because it has such a unique look, and it's very restricted. It has to be 3D pixel art, and we can only work within those boundaries. So we have to like think inside the box, but also outside the box. I've been working on this exciting <laughs> new mob. This new mob uh, will be the cutest predator ever existed in Minecraft. What this the update is incredible. What People the have been waiting for this for so long and we're finally gonna do it. I hope that the community is really, really happy about it. I hope they have a lot of new stuff to play with, and I hope that they are excited to see some concepts as well. It's so lovely when you it can was think hostile. about all of the different <laughs> jobs within game development. I love seeing the artists and developers. We all like across the it, show. It there's was so hostile, many different chat. <laughs> types of roles that people have. Yeah, and it, it's really awesome to interact with all those roles and, and have a lot of a back and forth. We're, we're very open in Mojang and getting ideas from all over the place. And the cutest hostile mob the they've ever added. Amazing as well. Uh, you sort of throw one idea to the hair and, and he draws something and you're like, oh, what is that white thing in your drawing? I didn't even think about it. And it starts so many awesome ideas going. And we even integrate it into our prototype uh, uh, process. And actually, I think until I saw those sketches by the art team, I didn't really understand what archaeology in Minecraft even means. Archaeology? Yes, so we're actually adding a new system called the archaeology system. Uh, in this system, you're basically going to find these excavation sites all throughout your world. And you can make this new tool called the brush that is going to help you uncover the mysteries of all these dig sites. What? So you come to one of these uh, ancient structures and you can sort of use the brush to clear away some of the rubble that may have collapsed in the Can you let go? Uh, can you let go? And can we have and stairs made out of gravel? You might even find something shiny inside them. But, and this is important, if you are not careful enough, like in real life, you can destroy that artifact. And when that artifact oh! is gone, <laughs> That artifact and all the secrets it Excuse held are gone me. forever. But if you're careful enough, if you take your time and you're deliberate, you can get some of those hidden artifacts. Ceramic and for example, shard? Here we got a ceramic shard, which is basically how whoever lived here used to tell and pass on their stories. I love the story oh, it works on dirt as well. of the archaeology it's, it's all it's, it's we, everything we often talk about that we want to deepen the mystery in minecraft and when you find these hidden artifacts you kind of find like connections and hints and 
We will never tell the full story, but these will inspire the players to tell their own stories like about this a lot. their own Minecraft world. I like this a lot. Exactly. Uh, I, I I love I when they just really add like little things, just tiny little them. things. For example, here we see uh, uh, an exhibition that someone built for this. Like the igloos all the different clues he with finds, the basement. Right, and try to preserve whatever the igloos that have the here. basement with the, uh, the zombie can, villager uh, and the regular villager. What he, showing what that someone was researching whatever, how to fix uh, new thing and sort of zombification. The pieces, right? And here we see uh, those pieces connected in a clay pot, actually, trying to reconstruct them back. And you can create that wherever, however you like. You can create your own stories or try to guess how those pieces used to connect. Yeah. It's also so fun to be very creative with these new pots because you can put the shards in, like, in any way you want. Oh. Exactly, and, and when you're you're pleased with your creation, you can fire them up and you have your I see own an Alex. painted clay pot. It's pretty. So <laughs> near what? Is this programmer art still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the art we're seeing is still work in progress, uh, but I, I personally like the dragon. I think it's cute. <laughs> yeah, it didn't say programmer art isn't pretty. <laughs> yeah, you know, the problem is the artists are way too good. Yeah. Right? They just make yeah. us look bad. Jap is going to go to the fucking town on that shit. Holy Archaeology fuck, is dude. amazing. I mean, the excavation site <laughs> I is can't so wait. incredible. I'm, 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 I'm so excited about yeah. this. Uh, I've, I've spent a lot of time about it, and I actually got to... Uh, uh, do a lot of awesome conversations with actual archaeologists from all around the world and it's been honestly I, I sort of feel like I got so passionate about it myself that their passion sort of stuck to me and it was so amazing to learn more about this and I'm, I'm really excited to see where it goes from That's here cool. and you have a, a dev diary coming out on our YouTube channel oh. where you kind of explore oh. all of the archaeology <laughs> even more yeah it, it's it's honestly really really exciting so I, I had so much fun with this and I learned so much that I I, I decided that it can't stop with me so we're gonna do uh, a dev diary when we're actually gonna talk to those archaeologists and actually we might even get to visit some interesting locations cool that is amazing well it's it feels very sad but we're almost out of time but we've no. been hinting at a new mob like over the course of the show uh -huh. like three or four times uh-huh so are you going to tell us about it now, yes. please? now we're going to tell you. <laughs> it's the cutest predator you will ever meet. How do you pronounce that? Axolotls? Oh, you can half. You can, you can just grab. You can grab them. Oh my God! I feel they're going like in Atlantis. Only one sound I can make they're going in Atlantis. That, which is like, that's that's it. That's it. They're going there. Yep. So yep. Just said it. Just <laughs> decided. That's it. That's it. How did you decide on Axolotls? Done deal. So when we add a new mob to Minecraft, we really wanted to have so its cute. own unique character. We wanted to have purpose, and it's all also a very good thing if, if it happens to be ugly cute. And the Axolotl <laughs> is perfect. It has all of these things. Well, I guess on the ugly cuteness, it might ugly be like a cute. big emphasis on the cute side, oh. but still. <laughs> and we actually had a brainstorm in the team. So we were like, okay, we're going to add goats, but we want to add another animal. And then one of the developers posted like a big picture of an axolotl. And <laughs> we all went like, yes. <laughs> yes, this, this it's right perfect. now. It's like the definition <laughs> of ugly cute. cute. It's like made for Minecraft. They could re you could just retext to that and it'll be a mudkip. Axolotls are endangered. <laughs> in the real world and we think Aww. it's it's good to add endangered animals to minecraft to create awareness around that so that's also a good thing like with the bees yes like with the bees like last with year, the bees. example there we go yeah so the axolotls as you saw in the in the video cool. they live in the lush caves and they really add a lot of life to the lush caves and there's also a bucket of axolotls <laughs> oh <laughs> my god <laughs> I don't know how to handle it, but it's so cute. <laughs> so when you're, you know, you're walking around in a lush cave and you see some axolotls, oh, then you can actually scoop so them cute. up in your bucket and take them with you. So maybe you build like a pretty aquarium for them in your base, or maybe you bring them to your ocean adventure. That's fucking adorable. Oh my God, look at the little... 
Wait, 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 whoa, 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 they just, they follow, what? They, okay. And now I see why you're calling them the cutest predator you'll ever meet. Exactly. Wait, so you so tame them. When you scoop them up in a bucket, you can actually create your own uh, exalado army basically. oh and, my and, and god charge into the oceans with them and they will help you fight various uh well they'll, they'll attack cute fish as well but they'll help you fight the the drones and the guardians okay and they're actually quite actual army when fighting guardians because these they have this special ability that weaponized they damage, cuteness they sort of play dead and when they're playing dead, no mob will actually attack, attack them. So they have this time to regen back help and then jump back into the fight together with you. And <laughs> if you learn how to cooperate with them really well, they might even heal you during the battle. That Wait, what? So they cool. heal you? Okay, so you whoa, added, whoa, whoa. like, you added these two mobs that are, like, as different as possible with the Warden and the Axolotl. Yes. So this outfit is actually a lot about contrast, which is great because it creates like a dramatic player experience, which is so good. Oh my so god. We, you know, we're like updating the highest highs of Minecraft with the mountains. We're updating like the deepest of the caves. We had this terrifying warden, the cutest axolotl. And also in the caves, like the lush caves are very light and welcoming. And then the deep dark is like super scary and challenging. I guess Lovely. we can't forget our little goat in there. Oh. It's kind of the in-between. Right. Yeah, <laughs> we shouldn't forget the goat. Yeah, I guess it's in-between. It is still very cute, but mm, in-between. Yeah. No one can be as cute as axolotl. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Before we tell everyone the winner of the mob vote, let's take a look back at some of the exciting things that we've talked about today. The animation of this mob is so well done. Like, that's the most impressive thing about that guy. Holy shit, the lush caves. This shit fucking blew my mind. Like, bruh. <laughs> I love these. I love the I love the goats so much. <laughs> I have to get back into the dungeons. I need to get back into the dungeons. It's a lot of fun. This shit is pog. Bit salty that you can't take them with you, but... Actually, really cool. Copper's pog. Copper veins. It'll change the sound of that. It'll be like a tung, probably. And the fact that it, like, decays and turns, like, bluish green is amazing. Bruh. They're making it so mod, mod packs so like adventure maps can be made easier now. I love I love these. I love them so much. Oh my god, I'm gonna have an army of them chat. I'm gonna have a straight up army of them. Before we get to our bomb vote, I think there's one more question. We know what's one. Really want to, gonna want to know when are we gonna get the clay, the caves and the cliffs update? It's a good question. If they say December, so I'm gonna we fucking. We plan to flip. release it summer 2021. Okay. And this actually is really good. As I mentioned in the beginning of the show, we really want to have a lot of time to work together with the community to like gather feedback, see all the great ideas because the community always has so many good ideas. Good. So it feels good that we now have a lot of time to actually work together on this. Next update. year. Amazing. And the community decided on a new mob that will enter the game. So. Which one of you gets to do the honors today? So I think Tiny Agnes has been a bit mean this year. So I think you should open it, Nina. You should announce the winner. Yes. <laughs> Give us the cool squid. Give us the retexture squid first? that stuns things, please. I'm, you're going to know before everyone else. <laughs> Gib. It's the glow squid. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Pog. I guess everyone was mesmerized by the glow squid, <laughs> yeah. not just yep. the tiny ones. No. 
I wow. was really not expecting that. That <laughs> is so awesome. Yes, like I, I didn't expect it at all, but it's great. And glow squids will look so cool in the caves. Like Sad. yes, they set this update yes. so well. Yes, it will be. Imagine it's just all dark. Huge. And, and then you see the glow squids sw swimming around. It will be, be so, so good. beautiful. Can they be friends with the axolotls? Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, sure, oh, they're like getting fucking eaten yeah, by the axolotls, oh, dude. No. We'll see, we'll see. They're gonna murder the squids. Them. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. We have it's gonna be a slaughter. To a things, so I think we need to get work <laughs> on all work. the things that we've shown in Fuck the show. Fuck yes, dude. For all of you watching, oh, I'm so Minecraft happy. wouldn't be what it is today without all of you. Oh my god. From all of us at Mojang Studios, thank you so much. Bye. Cheers, guys. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Man, those axolotls look fucking adorable. Oh, my God. I'm going to have, like, a school of them, dude. I'm going to have a full-on army just following me around. <laughs> it's going to be great. That was sick. That was actually probably better than the last one, I would say. How the fuck have I got 23,000 people watching? Hello? Hi, guys. What the fuck? The show had 35. What? So what do you guys think of the update? Oh, oh shit. They just pulled the plug. Did they just pull the plug? Did 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 they were just like right? Fuck this, we're out. They just said, "Oh, we're out." Just close that off. Goodbye. <sighs> Holy shit! Thank you, Aimless Bunny, for the ten gifted tier ones. Pog, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Fucking hell, Bruh. That was wild. I'm so happy the glow squid one. I'm so happy. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, they did just say yeet. They, they're gone. <laughs> they just hit stop streaming. 